So PvP testing has been opened up on the Shadowlands beta two full months before Shadowlands release day. That means we have little time to find amiable solutions to the many problems that plague Shadowlands PvP. Among those problems are Covenant abilities, Conduit lockouts, PvP scaling, and PvP gearing. Today, I want to focus on PvP scaling and PvP vendors, because PvP vendors and scaling are truly at the very beating heart of the PvP community. Legion replaced the PvP gearing system with a PvP template system, which set all of your stats and your item level at predetermined values, which basically made all of your gear and all of your gear choices that you made before entering the arena completely and totally void, completely meaningless. Some people absolutely loved those gearing templates. Other people, myself included, absolutely hated them. So in BFA, they decided to remove the template system and to no surprise, the entire community, while well, the majority of the community were completely stoked about it. Gear finally mattered. Your choices finally mattered. How you decided to play your character actually had an impact on how you played your character. It all had meaning once again. However, now that gear mattered, there was a huge problem. Legion removed the PvP gearing. PvP gearing in BFA is the exact same as it was in Legion, just randomness sprinkled with uh, not very good item levels, sprinkled with not enough stat varieties, and altogether what you get is a very dysfunctional, very unrewarding system that basically makes it almost idiotic to even attempt to gear in PvP, especially when you could just go into mythic dungeons and be able to target whatever stat variety you want, even sockets that you want, different effects that you want, and you just gotta run the dungeon, you know, 20 or 30 times sometimes uh, before you finally get that drop, unless you're lucky. You know, it sucks, it's a lot less fun for a PvP, it's a lot less fun to me, but it's more efficient and it works better and you get better gear for it. There's literally no reason to want to gear in PvP. So all of this pushed players to be forced to get geared in Mythic Plus and raids if they wanted any chance of even coming close to competing at the highest levels, even at 2k plus. So this brings us finally to Shadowlands. We were promised from the very beginning PvP vendors. And PvP vendors are what we got, but they are not anything like any of us had hoped or expected them to be. We had all imagined getting geared in PvP like we had in WAD and literally every expansion before it in the exact same way all the way back to Burning Crusade. You do Battlegrounds, you get your honor, you go and pick your gear from the vendor and you apply it. It either A has all the different stat varieties on it or it has a PvP stat. Because with a PvP stat, it doesn't matter if you got all of the PV, if you got the perfect stat combination, that PVP stat is so good that it outweighs the losses of losing those stats. But this is not what's been delivered to us two months before release of Shadowlands. In its current form, you cannot get every single stat from the PVP vendor. On top of that, the item level is 30 item levels lower than Raid Finder. And if you want a piece of PVP gear that is as high of item level as raid finder or higher then you're gonna have to upgrade every single individual piece of gear you have six times to get a three item level lead on raid finder in the wad and prior systems they too only had three stat varieties but they had that pvp stat and it made all the difference in the world the end game meta for high-end pvpers became how do i get the right combination of pieces to give me as much resilience as i can possibly get while also pairing together the best weapon, the best trinkets, which come from the raids, and enough other PvE pieces that I have as much of the perfect stat combinations as I can possibly get without losing too much resilience. It was a, P it was a balancing act, and it worked, and it was a lot of fun. Now, it did mean that PvEers did more damage than PvPers because they had the best weapon, the best trinkets, and the best stat combinations. 
but when they went into PvP, then they would be extremely squishy because they didn't have resilience or PvP power to protect them. So it created a need to have a PvP set and a PvE set if you wanted to take both seriously. Or you could just be like me and 99% of everybody else and just wear your PvP set in raids. Since Shadowlands does not offer a PvP stat and the gear does not have all the stat variations on it, once again, PvPers are going to be expected to participate in, in content that they don't find enjoyable just so they can go and do the thing that they actually want to do with the game that they paid for. We were promised PvP vendors, and we got them, but not as we were hoping, not as we were expecting, quite frankly, not nearly as we deserved it to be either. As for PvP scaling, I'm sure all of you have either seen or at least heard by now of all the tons of exploits that have been found in the PvP scaling in BFA. We got naked monks one-shotting people in Arena. We have Parat Paladins one-shotting people one of a dozen different ways, including while mounted and one-shotting one to three different people. Oh, and if we can't, how could we possibly forget about gems making you perform worse than if you had just not put a gem in your gear and how item level directly correlates to doing less damage and taking more damage? How does that make any sense? Rex Tori, Van Rookie, Chun Li, Asmin Gold, and so, so many more people are finding more and more exploits by the day, and it's just getting worse. In WAD, everyone below a certain item level was just automatically scaled up to a specific item level. It wasn't going to make them competitive, it never did, but it just made sure that, that they didn't get one shot in the opener. It was noob protection. That's all PvP scaling was. Why Blizzard changed that system, I have no idea. Because as someone who played quite competitively in that time in WAD, I never noticed. I knew the PvP scaling was there, but it never affected me as a well-geared player playing in a higher rating. I just never once really experienced it. So I don't know why they decided to leave that behind or... No, I not just go back to a the way it used to be where there was no scaling. It was up to every individual player and how much time and effort that you put into your character, how well you would perform in PvP. You don't want to get shit on? Well, then run more battlegrounds. You know, if you, uh, you're you running battlegrounds to get gear, but you need gear to do battlegrounds, then just do the best you can and try and enjoy it the best you can and start getting that gear. And before you know it, then your table's going to start turning for you. That's how it's always been. Any of these solutions are better than selling us lies. I'm afraid if nothing's done about this stuff, then Shadowlands is just going to be another awful PvP expansion. Not only because of the gearing problems, not only because of the PvP scaling, but because of the overall toxic concoction that is covenant abilities, PvP scaling, PvP gearing, and conduit lockouts. These are the big hitting problems of Shadowlands. And, you know, hashtag pull the ripcord. Like, it's time to, to fix this stuff. These are the things that are going to hold back an otherwise awesome expansion. This expansion is improving so many problems. It looks really good. The lore is great. The art's beautiful. The, the class design is much better than it was in BFA, which is a huge improvement. You know, there's a lot going good for this expansion, but these, this handful of problems... They're really going to hold this back. They're really going to try and keep this from being fun for a lot of people. And it, it sucks. It sucks. Because ex the Shadowlands should be the best expansion we've had since Mop. It really should be. And the only reason it won't be is because of this stuff. There is still time to change it. And if we all work together, then we can change it. We got to be loud. We got to put our our opinions out there we got to share our thoughts we got to go to the feedback forms on world of warcraft we got to be loud in the community as a community we've got to be loud and we got to say we demand that these changes be changed so hit that like button comment that does help get this video out there to more people so that they can see this stuff too and please go out on your own go to the forums go to twitter and get these devs attention and tell them what you want to see because that's the only way we're going to fix this mess. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.